my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I brought out this very unusual looking object. I wanted to talk about it because this is actually a punch bowl and I probably wouldn't look like it if you didn't have the glasses on it, but I went ahead and put the glasses on so you could show, you know, how it was meant to be presented. And the thing that makes it unusual is that it, obviously it has glasses that are essentially mounted around it. And this type of punch bowl is known as a Saturn punch bowl. And hopefully it's obvious why that is. Um, most punch bowls of this type will have a tray that's mounted in the center right here. You can kind of see that there's a, a line there. So I'll have a tray that's mounted here and then the cups sit on the tray. They just kind of rest on it. This particular one is a little different because it has these mounted rings around that are bolted onto this frame and the cups sit on the rings. So I haven't actually seen another punch bowl with this particular arrangement, but it still fits within the, the Saturn punch bowl uh, design style. As I said, most of the ones that I've seen have um, a tray mounted, a full tray mounted that goes around. Um, the other thing that I struck me as a little unusual with this one is it has a it actually has a spigot built in, which in a way is kind of handy because you can see, and this is probably why they did it, this handle is kind of blocking access to the lid here. It would be difficult to get a punch ladle in and out of that bowl. So by having the spigot, you can just fill it up and, and you know, dispense here with the little cups instead of trying to dispense out the top. So the reason I wanted to feature this is because it's different and also because this particular design seems to have been primarily um, available in, say, the 30s and the 40s and very much within like the Art Deco styling. So it's not something that you're likely to see a lot of today. But if you did happen to come across one like this, um, it, it would be very distinctive. Probably no one else would have one. There's not a lot of these floating around. I think this is probably the second one. I've personally, I mean, obviously you see them online, but in terms of, um, auctions and estate sales near me. This is the second one I've come across. Uh, and the, the last time I saw one locally was probably six or seven years ago. So they don't pop up all that often. And given, you know, the renewed interest in space inspired home decor, you know, something like this would definitely uh, stand out and fit also fit in with the aesthetic of people who are looking to, you know, kind of incorporate that space theme into their um, home in some way. Or, you know, in this particular case, if you have a big event that you want to potentially go down the road of space themed, this would be a great way to do that. Uh, so the, the other thing I kind of wanted to point out uh, with this particular item is um, because I went ahead and put cups on it, I also wanted to sort of show, I used the two on the back to show that you don't necessarily have to use cups that you can just set on the top of the ring. It could also be used with a more traditional shaped cup sinking down into the ring. So that's another way that you could, I mean, decide to do it. It, it doesn't necessarily give you, you know, the space theme perhaps as well as the little rounded cups do, but it is an option. And um, the other thing I wanted to kind of point out is that this look was done, uh, from what I could tell, some big name designers kind of got in on this look and per perhaps even um, kicked off this idea of a Saturn punch bowl. Uh, one of the ones that I found that were getting pretty high dollars in sales, uh, I found one on Christie's and other big auction sites, is there's a Russell Wright design 
of a round punch bowl of this type with, you know, the tray and then a bunch of little, you know, uh, actually brushed aluminum punch cups that, that would sit on the tray. You know, pretty impressive looking. Um, and those were going for, you know, four figures when they were popping up at auction. So in a way, this probably was a designer inspired look initially. And then, you know, other companies kind of get in on the action, which is, you know, typical even now. Um, but this look is very distinctive. And as I said, the main reason I wanted to kind of go into it is you don't see it a lot. And if anyone happens to come across one and isn't sure what they're looking at, this is what it is. It's a Saturn style punch bowl set. And if you happen to see one, it's definitely the kind of thing that would be worth grabbing, even if it's not specifically your look. If you know somebody who would be attracted to it, it's still worth grabbing on their behalf because they just don't pop up a lot. Anyway, I'm going to add a couple of photos that I found uh, at the end to kind of let you see some other variations on this theme and also put some things in the links if you want to do a little bit more reading or exploring. But for the most part, I couldn't find any articles that were actually talking about this uh, style of punch bowl, the Saturn style punch bowl, and the trends that might have surrounded it. So uh, that would also motivated me to talk about this particular piece because there didn't seem to be any um, helpful information out there. And so not that I have a lot to share, but at least, you know, uh, watching the video, you can understand what it is and about, you know, the era that it came from. So anyway, I hope you learned something today and I appreciate you watching.